Yo, what is going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So guys, it is the off season, a bit of a competitive drought, but I got something fun for you guys today. So there's been a 2v2 league going around. It's uh, for $1,000, Tempo's running it. And me and Bobby and Kang and Alec played against each other. Uh, so we kind of like just split up at the start of the season. I forget what we did, it was random though. And I got Kang, uh, Bobby got Alec. So we're actually fighting for who gets second in the league, I think. Or maybe there was a chance to get first, but uh, I don't think either of us will get first. But yeah, we're gonna be going over the games and it's really different from 3v3. I don't know if you guys have watched 2v2. Hopefully it's entertaining. But uh, yeah, let's get into the games. All right, guys, so game number one it is on Pit Stop. So me and Kang, we're going to go with Rico and Nita. Now, they banned Spike, we banned Mortis. Uh, both those brothers are super dominant in 2v2, and I guess real play too. More so in 2v2, though, just because uh, 2v2, it is all about comps, guys. Honestly, like, there's little times where it just comes down with skilling. It is all out comping. So right now we're getting pushed back, but I still prefer our comp. Uh, Bobby's gone through two gadgets already, so that's gonna be important. They didn't get really any damage there. They got 6%, but when Kang gets his bear, that is gonna be so big. And he does have a uh, hyper bear, which can just destroy the save. So I'm gonna take out Bobby there, and I think I get Alec as well. I'm just gonna super to get rid of Alec. And that is gonna give us full position of the map. So now we just wait, okay? So I'm gonna make sure Bobby messes up his bubble there. That should have killed me. <laughs> but he did mess it up, and it didn't get the bounce that he was looking for. Uh, Kang is just gonna be getting his bear really slowly. So I'm just gonna like reposition so I can chip the safe and just just put pressure on Bobby and Kang's gonna throw out his bear. Bobby gets a knockback on it and the bear goes down super fast, but we're gonna take out Bobby and now it's just Alex. So I'm gonna try supering. I do get out Alex's gadget, that's really good. And we're both gonna stay alive actually. I think Kang does get taken out here actually. So Kang is gonna get taken out, but I'll take out Bobby and I can just pitch over on Alec. So I can threaten going to the safe here because Rigo out damages Max. Um, and you know, Kang is coming up with bears. So Alec knows that he has to come back. Otherwise we just, win the game because BB can't defend all of this that uh, we would throw on their safe. Nice gadget from Kang though. He gets a stun on Bobby. Our right, Bruce is going to go down. We do take out Alec though and we have complete control. They do have max speed though, which is going to let them move up, but Rico's honestly fine on defending. So if Kang wants to go up here, that's totally fine with me. I'm going to just super to get rid of Alec. That way it is a lot less threat, but on their safe, there is a need to bear guys. So that's why it just went from 50 to zero and we are going to take game number one. All right guys, game number two. Now Kang said, let's go with Barley. It was a really good pick. I mean, Brock can jump over on me and you'll see that at one point, but Barley against Nita, very, very favorite matchup for myself. Uh, so we're gonna take this one really slow again. There's no need to rush it, 2v2. Like the only way I think we lose this is if uh, we get kind of wiped and give up position. So we're just gonna be building up our supers. Alec is only useful with his super, it's the brawler. Um, so I'm not gonna give him any value, that is my goal. Eventually I will chip him down enough to kill him. So I'm gonna super just so Kang can kind of push him out and we can just get full control and slowly, slowly, slowly just start creeping up the map. So you can see Kang is hitting a few shots on Bobby every now and then. So Alec hasn't hit me yet, it's just the matchup honestly, it's a super toxic matchup. Uh, not his fault at all, but Kang is gonna take out Bobby there. Really good job, and he's gonna come over and help me pinch the Nita. So the Nita's thinking about just going, but you know what? Honestly, I think I just run at the Nita there. But then I give her a super, maybe, uh, I don't know. I think I just die there. Um, Kang is gonna get his bear on safe though. That's gonna be really good. It's gonna do around 20%, which is really good. It uh, forces them to have to pressure us. And that is like, if you get a good Brock super, I think it's 20%. But, uh, you know, we do want to avoid. And you can see, this is what I was talking about. I saw it too last minute. Uh, Bobby did a good job sneaking up on me. Kang is going to take out their Nita and get Bobby one shot. Bobby is going to take out Kang, though. But you can see they only got 7% from that Brock Super. The mid is opened up for them. Bobby's going to overextend, though, and I'll catch him right back. Just kind of what he did for me. And Alec is going to waste his bear here. Um, you know, it's not really the best bear. But he did kind of push us back, I guess, for the moment. I'm going to get a really good super, though, because Bobby was going through mid. And I think I take out both of them. So I'll take out Bobby. So really good Barley super there. And I will take out Alec as well. We're going to try finishing here. I take out Alec. Bear's on safe. I'm on safe. Kang's on safe. I'll pop a gadget just to heal him up. And it's going to be really low. So realistically, 
As long as we don't like get Nita Bear on safe, um, I think we're good at this point. So Bobby has to come back for us. I'm going to fake out his super, just get it out. And he has to get damage, but he has to defend me at the same time. And Alex is going to go the opposite way. So as long as I juke a shot or two, I'm just going to go and finish and we will take heist. All right, guys, set number two and we're going with B and Barley. So <laughs> my last video was the B gadget one. You guys are going to get to see it in full effect here. B is super strong in 2v2s. The only thing is you can get countered. Um, so Bobby is going to sneak up and I'm going to try getting him with my gadget. See, he gets three hits there and does a lot of damage. Um, but unfortunately, Alec is really tanky. So if Kang supers, he can stop the bull. But odds are Bobby's just going to gadget him and score anyway. So I think that's a good call from Kang, saving onto his super. And we got to play it differently. We got to like just push up like that, take full advantage of the barley and just play around him. So I'm going to pop my gadget to be super aggro as well. I want to get Bobby here, but I will get a few good shots on Alec. I think I got connected twice and that's just going to be enough pressure to just get him low enough. Bobby's going to miss his pull which is really good for us and I'm just going to be there to clean up and we'll get goal number one for our side. So we kind of had the strat. I mean, honestly, we don't play 2v2s. Like nobody really plays 2v2s. It's interesting, but it's not really practical. You have to play the game completely different. So we're just playing off the barley now and we're doing a lot of pressure. So I want to get my B gadget and you can see I get three shots on both of them. So 6k damage, just like that. It's going to take out Bobby, we'll take out Alec and we'll take game number one of Brawl Ball. All right, guys. So like I said, 2v2 is all about out comping. Um, so we went for the Poco Jackie one. They have Surge Gene. So I was trying to loop around. Me and Kang kind of, we weren't in VC, by the way. Um, Alec and Bobby were. <laughs> but we weren't, you know, I was trying to loop around and just kind of like flank a little bit. But uh, they did a good job just picking Bobby off. And Kang, I, I should have stood in front of him there. Honestly, that, that's my bad. I do stand in front of him now, but I think it's a little too late. And I want to go for something here, but I don't think we can. So Alec is going to get me with the knockback, unfortunately. I thought I was just out of range, but he is going to do a good knockback. And at this point, there's not too much to do, I guess. I, you can see I get combo pretty good there. And Alec's going to TP in and he'll score. So they'll take game number two really fast. All right, guys, game number three of Brawl Ball. That last one went by super fast. <laughs> Um, I think they do have the comp here, honestly. They got the Barley into the B and the Mr. P, which is really hard counters for both of them. Surge scales really good in 2v2s too. Everyone plays Surge in 2v2s. Probably the best 2v2 brawler in my opinion. So I have my 3k shot, so I want to go for something on Alec. Fortunately though, he does get me. Um, and... You know, Kang is just gonna scale up when he gets Penguins. So we're trying to wait for that. Um, it's a it's a rough matchup though. He has to like play around Bobby Scrubs. So he does pair a lot better against Surge. So we're trying to switch him over onto Surge again. Uh, for this one, we were in VC actually, but I think this was the only one uh, on this set. But he is doing a much better job against Surge. It's the matchup again. Um, Alec is gonna go forward, and he has his three. I have my three K. So Bobby is pushing up really well though. So I'm saving my gadget for Bobby. Um. Kang is going to go down, but that's okay. Um, I can just hold it down. So I'm going to pop my gadget just to get them both low. And I got Bobby there, which is really good. And I think I get Alec too. I get Alec really low at least. Yeah, so Alec's 800 HP, and that's going to give us position. Kang's going to get his super up in a pretty good spot. Unfortunately, he does get three tapped by Alec though, uh, which is going to hurt us. But his penguins are alive. Um, so my job is just to keep the penguins alive and let them like kind of do the work We're waiting for overtime because overtime, you know, we win just because we have B and they have barley Kang has like revolving door. I think it is so that doesn't do too well in overtime But I should just like hard carry in overtime honestly being overtime so broken So I do take Bobby there I'm thinking about going for a gadget play But I do want to save one for overtime because that's kind of what our strat was I thought I could get the angle there. That's why I flashed my super. I don't think I could though. It was really tight I like I feel like that's one of the plays that if you screw up, you could lose. So I didn't think it was worth the risk uh, just because I wasn't comfortable with getting that angle. I almost get Bobby there. He's just going to stay out of distance and they get the ball in a really dangerous spot. So I do want to get the ball, but I also don't want to get hit by the barley and like Surge can just TP on me and two shot me and then, but you can see he is going to go for the ball here and we're trying to get in front of it. I think, uh, I don't know. We would have won if we stopped that. I don't think he should have gone around the wall. I should have got the ball earlier too. So I don't know. Just probably my bad. I should have got the ball, but I don't. Yeah, just rough. We would have won if it went longer. 
Alright guys, third and final set. We're going Tara and Surge. They have Jean and Rosa. You can see the strat, it's kind of different. Um, we're just trying to stick together though and go up the same side, but I am slow, so I do take out Bobby there though, and you know, we don't have a very reliable wall break, I guess. So I kind of wanted to get the gems, but Kang's gonna grab the gems, um, just because I have my TP, right, and um, my jump. And I also get longer range. Kang does get pulled there. It's a little unlucky. Um, I am gonna try getting my level two here, but I don't wanna just die. So we're just gonna reposition. When Kang gets pull, our comp really like kinda comes alive. So he is gonna pick up pull there. And you can see I do get my level two and I'll TP back just to stay alive. The main thing was I have a gem. They're really close to countdown. Bobby gets a really good pull on me though. I was trying to sneak up and he kinda just guessed. But Kang is gonna come through with a nice pull himself and catch Bobby out, get the gems onto Alec and he's almost gonna have his super right back. So even though they have like both supers and eight gems we're like not in a bad spot our tara's scaled pretty good i'm like still working my way up bobby does a bad pull there pulls the tara he can't kill her um and oh he kind of missed his pull but <laughs> it was a really good first pull i don't know what happened on the second one though and he's gonna go down with a gem and they're one gem off countdown now so i'm just gonna like try keeping alec low and you know just try collecting gems and not feeding bobby too too much i do get my level four finally so that's gonna be really nice and they're gonna go for that gem we already know so bobby is definitely gonna sneak up and try getting his pull kang does his get his pull though back too and i tap both of them so we know bobby's just kind of lurking and he's really low um but unfortunately kang does get pulled and i managed to grab two of them uh but that's not gonna be enough for countdown so I almost get Bobby, 56 HP. I thought I would kill him, and I thought I would reload. I probably should have jumped. And then, I don't know why he gives up. He's Tara with full, and he kind of gave up, and just like doesn't try. So, I don't know. I think maybe, like, it's a low chance he can turn around, but. All right guys, game number two of gem grab. So, we're sticking with the same comp, and I am gonna try getting Last game I wasn't aggro enough at first. I don't know, we were just kind of running it down a little bit <laughs> as I, say, I literally run it down. Um, but Kang is gonna get really good value there. And you know, he's almost at his uh, pull. Bobby tries reaction testing me, like the boomer still got to Bobby, I don't know. <laughs> but I will get his pull out, which is actually really good for us because you know, that's such a threat. He gets it right back though. He does uh, connect two shots on me. But I do get my level three, so you can see I'm getting it a lot earlier this time around. It's six gems, uh, they have four. And I'm gonna see if we can catch out Bobby here, I think. Bobby's gonna get a really good blind pull on Kang though. So Bobby hit a few good pulls this, game, this uh, series so far. Good job, Bobby. <laughs> but I can get so much value there and you know, I do get a lot of value and I just keep Bobby really low. I take him out almost. He gadgets to stay alive. They're going to get countdown. I got to go for Bobby here. Um, and Kang does get a really good pull on Alec and we get him so low. You know, I can't chase that. Bobby's coming with pull as well. And I got, I have seven gems. It's not like worth it for me to chase it. So Kang's going to use his vision. I think he should have saved his vision for when he had pull. It's really even at this point. Kang's going to try blind pulling. He just gets the grass and it's going to be... It's not the end of the world, he does break some grass, but he gets them both low too, and I'll take out Bobby, so it's me versus Alec at this point. I don't have any shots right now, though. that's why I'm not shooting, but, um, you know, Alec's doing a good job. We can't really kill Alec when he has shield. I mean, we can get him low. Kang's gonna get a nice double pull there as well, but, you know, Jean has the healing star power, and I'm only Surge. I can't kill Rosa when she's getting healed by Jean and then her grass, but she doesn't have shield at this point. So Bobby's gonna look for a pull on Kang, and he does miss it. So I'm just gonna, like, TP to stay alive. Kang's gonna help me out. And honestly, we could tie, but I feel like we should win. Uh, if he just pulls, like, before he gets hit, not, it, I mean, it could happen to anyone, but I think we would have won. Or at least got the gems. But unfortunately, we did lose. We got reverse swept. We were doing really good at first. It's honestly comps. I think they did outskill us kind of in uh, the last match. The last two, maybe. It was just like misplays and stuff. But it is what it is. It was fun. 2v2 is interesting. I thought it would be better, but it's really, really comp dependent. So 
still getting used to it. I mean, it's not going to be a competitive thing or anything, but it was fun. I'm not mad. We got third. It's like a decent prize and stuff. Shout out to Tempo and Rince um, and Bobby and Alec and Kang, of course. That is going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.